All right, here's the deal. If this is my pot of crabs, this is my secondary boil, this is my garlic butter or Old Bay butter. I just want to get a couple of these rascals out of here. Okay. I like to keep them in the boil the way they are because they absorb flavor. Ooh, look at that big rascal. That's mine. All right. All right, so now I got the claw. This, These two came off in the boil, so I don't even have to pull them off. I go away, so I'm breaking it open away. Pull it out. Okay, so sometimes the meat comes out with it. In this, in this case, it did not. All you want to do is barely crack this. As soon as you hear it crack, When you hear it crack, it's ready to go. And you just gently pull it apart. And whoo, 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 look at that big old fat chunk of claw meat comes out of there. Dip it in your Old Bay butter. I'd fight Superman for some of that. Sarah, who is holding the camera right now. This is dinner tonight, baby, whoo! is probably very upset that she's not getting to enjoy any of this right now. But she will. So you're just hyper extending this. Throw that in your pot over there. The claw. Yeah. Say it, just say it. Say it's your blue crab claw. And you just, whoo, pop that sucker open just like that. Big old fat chunk of blue crab. And just like any guy would, I was almost gonna give it to Sarah, but she would have to drop the camera and all that. It wouldn't work out. But um, that's so good. Okay, so now here we go. Take your apron, break your apron backwards and pop it off, okay? Now hold right at the, at the base of the swimmer, and then you hold the point of the the point of the carapace right here at the top shell and the swimmer leg. Pop that right off. Oh yeah. First step, that's the face. That's like all the little parts of the mouth. Break that off. Okay, here you go. Those are gills. Take them off. Okay, now what I like to do, bend it up and then down. Look how full of meat that is. So what I want to do, I'm going to rinse them in here. Oh yeah. That gets all the mustard and all the guts off. Now I've been telling you about that secondary boil. Here it is. It's got about a half stick of butter in there. It's got some Old Bay, some salt, a little more vinegar. Put them right in there. They're ready to go. So we're going to do this one more time. Got a claw. Oh, see, whenever I pulled that claw out, a little bit of meat came out. You can just dip that right there. Mmm, so good. Grab the back of the, oh yeah, that's hot. Take your little crab leg. Mention that it's a male. Yeah. And uh, another thing, these are both males. We let all the females go. The female would have a big, broad apron. A male has a little thin apron. Imagine that. So, here's your crab. Grab the swimmer, pop the top. It's like that Alan Jackson song. Pop top again. I think it's time for another crab. Eat them up, my friend. Dip them in some butter and you will go to bed happy. I wanted to go into country music singing. I just, uh, I just like fishing too much. Okay, again, take these rascals, rinse them, throw them in the secondary boil. Holy macaroni! One more time, 
One more time. Take the claw off. Take the claw off. Take your apron. Pop that apron off. Just like that. Finger on the swimmer. Pop the top. Take the face. Pull the face off. Pull the gills off. Yo, it's hot. First time you bend them, bend them up, then down, break them in half, rinse them. Secondary boil. Oh yeah. Now, once we've done that, I wanna grab one of these little puppies right here. That's why this is always good. So now you have your little clusters, just like that. So what I do is I hold the cluster pointing away from me, but my thumb, I sort of rotate that, I rotate it and pull it towards me. Just like that. And that whole big lump crab meat should just come out. And then you take your fingers and you gently Peel that cartilage away. I think it's cartilage. Leaving you that big, fat, delicious chunk of blue crab. That's the jumbo lump. Let it just immerse itself in the Old Bay butter and then enjoy. just too bad you guys can't taste that. Okay, so now that you've got your, your cluster, I've already got that big jumbo lump. Then you can just pull your, pull each leg has its own, has its own little section of meat. And you can, believe me, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that could make me look like a, a complete novice when it comes to picking crab. But you just pull it apart and just dig it out. Don't be scared to get your fingers dirty or your feelings hurt. This is picking crabs. It's a great social food. If you've got friends or family in town and you know you want to show them what a new seafood is all about, get you some live crabs, cook it up. You just saw what we did. It was too easy to make. I mean, it took us maybe half an hour total. All right, thanks so much for watching this video of Fresh Fish for Dinner, Maryland style blue crabs. I'm Robert Arrington, and we will see you again soon.